Hey everyone, I have a Trader Joe's haul for you today. We got some new items and I will be including prices for everything. My name is Katie and we are a family of five. I have a six-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. It's been about a month since I've been to the store and so we were just missing some of our favorites and we were really excited that the Ube products came out. And just quickly before the haul, I wanted to share the stickers that the cashiers give you if you ask for them. One of my favorite Trader Joe's YouTube channels features this in her videos and it reminded me to get some for my girls. So the cashier gave me these for my two daughters and she also offered me some lollipops for them too. So that was really nice of her and you guys can do the same if you just ask them at the cash register. So over here I've got some Ube pretzels. This is not a brand new item, but we're just happy to see it back. It's the Ube pretzels. They're teeny tiny pretzels covered in an Ube yogurt candy coating. I've also seen this going around. It's the brown sugar boba mochi snacks. They're individually wrapped. I feel like this is something my husband would like, so I will let you guys know how he likes that. He also really likes the crunchy chili onion oil that they have. So I saw that they have that flavor with the peanuts, so I decided to get that for him. And before I went to the store, he requested four or five boxes of these Ube Mochi pancake and waffle mixes. I just got four. So this is a chewy mochi pancake mix with purple yam, and we're just really happy to have this back into our breakfast rotation. There was plenty of mixes in stock, so I did not clear the aisle, I promise. I've also seen this salted caramel swirl danish. My husband has a sweet tooth, so I thought that this would be something that he would like. I got some pancake bread. We really like having this. We just slice it up and warm it up in the microwave and just have it as a treat or in the morning with our coffee. The kids really like cinnamon coffee cake, so I got them some of these muffins. Down here is a new item. It's a glazed sweet lemon scones. It comes with six in here. And I really like scones. I got the vanilla bean first, and then when I saw these, I just added that to my cart. In no particular order, we'll just go down here. We have the mini beef tacos. I just grabbed these for an easy dinner. I have never noticed these before, but this is a three pack of mini cheeseburgers. They are fully cooked seasoned beef patties with cheddar cheese and burger sauce nestled between a sweet aloha roll. So I figured one day my husband can probably have two and I will try one. We'll have some like fries on the side or just have it as a snack. Down here we have the frozen chicken fried rice. And I mentioned before in my last video that my son loves fried rice. He could eat it all day if he could. So I just wanted this for an easy option. I haven't bought this in about 15 years since I lived on campus in college which is a really long time ago, and I don't remember loving it, but I figured it would just be something easy to have on hand. We also only have half a bag of the orange chicken left in our freezer, so I decided to grab another one. This Brazilian style cheese bread is really yummy. We just air fry this, and it's really good as a side with dinner or even just a little snack. I got some sweet apple chicken sausage for breakfast bowls. I went into Trader Joe's um, knowing that I was gonna grab their chicken tamales, and I saw this next to the produce and the salads, and it did look different. The packaging looked different. I just thought they changed the packaging, but this is actually different than what they usually carry in their regular freezer section. And this one comes with four. Their Trader Joe's brand just comes with two. Um, and they were about the same price. I see it here that this is by the brand Cedar Lane, so it's not actually the Trader Joe's brand. But I grabbed this for easy lunches while I'm just home with the kids by myself. Back around over here, I grabbed another bag of the cinnamon sugar almonds. This is like our third bag of these. And yeah, in another video, someone mentioned that these are kind of like a yogurt coated almond. So if you don't like things like that, then you might not like this. But my husband and I really like it. This is my favorite trail mix to get at Trader Joe's. They have um, this bulk packaging and they also have them individually wrapped in single serving. It's the almond, chocolate, and cashew trek mix. My husband and I like anything honey roasted, so I got the honey roasted peanuts today. I just now realized that I grabbed two of the same flavors, but I meant to grab the world's puffiest corn puffs in the original flavor just like the cheese flavor and the sour cream and onion. But that's okay, I actually like this flavor better. And um, these are mostly for my one-year-old. He really likes these puffs. 
and he also likes these Bamba um, puffed peanut and corn snacks. I like to have these on hand because they're cheaper than baby snacks. Still in a random order, I got um, some of these Stroop waffles. These are the mini ones. We all really like these and I can also include it in my daughter's lunch or snack for school. Over here, I have the organic pomegranate seeds. We've only had this a couple of times, but I wanted to grab it again. I didn't get too much produce because I got all that from Walmart this week, and that will be my next video, so stay tuned for that. At the checkout, I noticed that they had the Cara Cara oranges, so I grabbed one bag. And then for our smoothies, we needed another bag of frozen strawberries. Down here, we have a pound of the shaved beef steak. The price was $11.65 and we like doing a fried rice with this. Down here we've got a four cheese ravioli. I was hoping to find something that had meat in it, but I did not see anything. It was mostly just cheeses or vegetables. We've been doing a lot of spaghetti nights. I wanted to switch it up and add a ravioli into the dinner rotation. I'm not sure how the kids will like this. So I'm thinking of serving our usual pasta and pasta sauce. Um, with this as well so the kids can kind of pick and my husband and I will probably eat this. I think these two would pair very well together. Down here I always get these um, cheese frozen pizzas for my daughter's lunch or just an easy after school snack. The last frozen item is the Spanish style rice. Since my son loves um, fried rice or just any dish with rice. I've been wanting to try um, Spanish rice. So I saw this and I hope he really likes it. Oh, I thought it was just one, but it comes with two microwavable pouches. And also, I don't know if this is a new item. I've never noticed it, but I am excited to try it. We can have this on the side of taco night and then my son can also enjoy that. We needed more string cheese. The kids like that. I always like getting cantaloupe chunks there, so um, this is probably for me and my three-year-old. Back here, we've got the mini cheese sandwich crackers. My daughters love to snack on those. I haven't gotten this in a while. This is probably my favorite sweet snack at Trader Joe's. It's a soft licorice twist. These are like um, Australian licorices, if you've ever seen that in like your grocery store. I don't know if I mentioned it's a strawberry flavor and it's really, really good. I used to be able to finish the whole bag in one sitting. I probably still can, but I will share that with my husband and any of the girls who want that. My last Trader Joe's haul, I got the dark chocolate peanut butter cups and I forgot how good they were. I really want the large pack, um, but the large pack is not individually wrapped. And also I don't need that much chocolate right now. I still have some in my little snack stash. So I just got one little bag of it. Back here, I've got um, some salads. I have the crunchy slaw salads. So this has white chicken meat, it has lettuce, cabbage, carrots, crispy chow mein noodles, and peanut dressing. My six-year-old always wants me to save these little crunchy chow mein noodles for her, which is my favorite part of the salad, but I'm willing to share with her. I'm trying to find, like at Walmart or something, if they have just a large bag of those noodles by itself so that my daughter can snack on it. But I haven't found anything yet. But I got two of those salads. I also got a salad down here. It's the pearl couscous salad with chicken. So there's couscous, cherry tomatoes, garbanzo beans, white chicken meat, bell pepper, and arugula in there. I also ran out of my multivitamins and I do like this brand and I like how they carry it at Trader Joe's. So I decided to get this one this time. It's the Garden of Life Organics Women's Once Daily Whole Food Multivitamin. And it's just one tablet per day. So this is a one month supply. I also got a low sodium chicken broth for um, Italian wedding soup that I'm gonna make. I forgot if it calls for two of those containers in the recipe, but I only have one in my pantry, so I just got a backup just in case. And the last item in my haul, actually, I'm not sure if I mentioned the total, but the total was $203. But the last item is this organic brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta. I'm gonna be making a sausage and peppers over pasta dish tonight, so I just grabbed this for myself, and I'm sure my husband will enjoy that too. So that was everything that I got at Trader Joe's today. I also did a Walmart delivery order, which was delivered right before I started filming this. And so um, the delivery person actually 
rang my doorbell and I had to open the door um, because she needed my ID because I ordered some cold medicine. So I was just trying to like stand at the doorway so she wouldn't see my dining table with all these groceries laid out. And she'd probably think I'm a crazy person. But anyway, stay tuned for that Walmart order. It will be next. It's just a fill-in order. I didn't want to get too much produce at Trader Joe's since it's most likely cheaper at Walmart. So um, that will be my next video. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.